Welcome once again to returning viewers and indeed new viewers to Juddy Productions videos. I greatly appreciate your time and your ongoing support of my YouTube channel. So today's video is focusing on physics with the unit conversion of speeds. A quick recap, most students will be used to this particular triangle approach which identifies the fact that speed is equal to distance over time. Here's the equation format as well. Traditionally everyday usage we're used to speed being measured in kilometers per hour. That is distance measured in kilometers and time measured in hours. So when we divide our distance by time, we end up with a unit of measurement for everyday use of speed in kilometers per hour. And this is used in cars, maps, GPS, etc. However, the International Standard SI unit for speed, and that used for the majority of physics equations, involves meters per second, where distance is measured in meters and time is measured in seconds. So when we divide our distance by our time, we end up with an SI, or an international standard unit, of meters per second. And today's video is looking at how we convert between those two units, kilometers per hour and meters per second. So simple unit conversion. Let's consider as a starting point a speed of 100 kilometers per hour. So that means an object is traveling a distance of 100 kilometers in a time of one hour. Let's try and convert that to meters per second. So first of all, let's consider the 100 kilometers that's exactly the same as 100,000 meters. And our previously measured time unit of one hour, we can easily convert that to 60 minutes. Okay, let's further simplify this. We were looking at converting this 100 kilometers per hour to meters per second. At the moment, this is in units of meters per minute. So we need to convert our minutes back to seconds. So we need to multiply that by a further 60 units. So now we have 100 kilometers per hour is represented by 100,000 meters divided by 60 lots of 60 seconds, which can be expanded into 3,600 seconds. At this point, let's now divide both the numerator and the denominator by a factor of 1,000, and we end up with 100 kilometers per hour is equal to 100 divided by 3.6 meters per second. Comes out to a value of about 28.8 recurring. But the most important factor here is that the conversion of kilometers per hour into meters per second simply involves a division of 3.6. Let's look at this visually. So in this visual representation, you can see that converting from a speed in kilometers an hour to a speed in meters per second simply involves the division of 3.6. Likewise, if we want to do the reverse conversion from meters per second into kilometers per hour, that involves a multiplication of 3.6. This can also be represented as a traditional triangular approach, which allows us to simply derive expressions or equations for different variables. So in summary, to convert from meters per second into kilometers per hour, and by the way, there are different ways of representing this. M slash S represents meters per second. MS negative one represents meters per second. Likewise, KM slash H represents kilometers per hour, as does KM H negative one. So to convert from meters per second into kilometers per hour, if we want to find out what the speed is in kilometers per hour, we cover that section of our triangle over and we're left with the speed in meters per second multiplied by 3.6. Another visual is the following. If we want to calculate the speed in kilometers per hour, we must start with the meters per second and times it by 3.6. So whether you use the triangular approach or whether you use the simple equation approach, you get the same equation. The speed in kilometers per hour is equal to the speed in meters per second multiplied by 3.6. And of course, to convert speeds from kilometers per hour into meters per second, Again, we can use the triangle. This time we're looking to find the meters per second, so we cover that up with our hand. And that states, to find the speed in meters per second, we take the speed in kilometers per hour and divide by 3.6. Visually, we use the following equation. Find the speed in meters per second. We start with the speed in kilometers per hour and we divide it by 3.6. So there's our expression. Let's try four examples to complete this video. Example number one, a Formula One car has a top speed of 372.5 kilometers per hour. And we want to convert this speed into meters per second. There it goes. So number one, let's state our variables. So in the description, we're told the speed in kilometers per hour is 372.5 kilometers per hour. And we want to calculate the speed in meters per second. We want to select the correct equation. Now we can either use our triangular approach that we've looked at, or we can use our visual approach. Either way, we end up with the speed in meters per second is the speed in kilometers per hour divided by 3.6. Step three, we substitute and solve. So we take our equation, we substitute our value of 372.5 kilometers per hour, divide that by 3.6, and we're left with the final answer 
of 103.5 meters per second. Example number two, a peregrine falcon has a top speed of 390 kilometers an hour. Convert this speed into meters per second. There it goes. It's pretty quick actually for a bird, 390 kilometers an hour. State the variables. So we know the speed in kilometers per hour is 390, and we're wanting to calculate the speed in meters per second. Number two, let's select the equation. So here's our triangle approach, and we want to find the speed in meters per second, so we cover that over. And that tells us that the speed in meters per second is the speed in kilometers per hour divided by 3.6. Alternatively, we have this visual approach as well. Either way, we get the same result. The speed in meters per second is equal to the speed in kilometers per hour divided by 3.6. So we substitute in our values and we solve. Here's our equation. Our speed was 390 kilometers an hour. We divide that by 3.6. And that tells us that the Peregrine Falcon has a top speed of 108.3 meters per second. Example number three, a MiG-25 Fox Bat has a top speed of 970 meters per second. That's incredibly fast. We want to convert this speed into kilometers per hour. So there goes our MiG-25 Fox Bat. Let's state the variables. First of all, the speed in meters per second is 970. And we want to find our speed in kilometers per hour. Let's select our appropriate equation. Here's our triangle, and we want to find the speed in kilometers per hour. So we cover that with our hand. That tells us the speed in kilometers per hour is equal to the speed in meters per second multiplied by 3.6. Alternatively, there's our visual representation. So to calculate the speed in kilometers per hour, is equal to the speed in meters per second multiplied by 3.6. Let's substitute our values into this equation and solve. So we were given a speed in meters per second of 970, we can times that by 3.6, and that gives us a speed in kilometers per hour of 3,492. Final example, a cheetah has a top speed of 31.1 meters per second, and we want to convert this speed into kilometers per hour. So there goes our cheetah. State the variables. First of all, the speed in meters per second is 31.1, and our unknown is the speed in kilometers per hour. Select the equation. Again, we can use our triangle to find the speed in kilometers per hour. We cover that over with our hands, and that tells us that the speed in kilometers per hour is equal to what is left uncovered, that is the speed in meters per second, multiplied by 3.6. Or alternatively, we have our visual representation once again. Either technique is fine, and the equation is the speed in kilometers per hour is equal to the speed in meters per second multiplied by 3.6. Let's substitute in our values. Our speed in meters per second was 31.1, and we multiply that by 3.6, and that gives us a speed in kilometers per hour of 111.96. An alternative to manual calculation, if you've got the opportunity and not in the test environment, is to use one of the various online calculators for conversions. And this is one particular calculator we'll have a quick look at. This is from calculatorsoup.com. When we look at the soup calculator speed and velocity converter, we can convert from a range of different speed units to a range of different speed units. Let's look at our four examples. Example one said that we're converting a speed of 372.5 kilometers per hour, and we're going from kilometers per hour into meters per second. So we do that calculation, and it gives us a value of 103.47, which is what we calculated previously. Our second example, where we had the Peregrine Falcon, it started with a speed of 390 kilometers per hour, we're converting that into meters per second. And that calculated to a velocity of 108.3 recurring meters per second. Our third example involved the MiG-25 Fox Bat. It had a top speed of 970 meters per second. So now we're gonna start from meters per second. And we want to convert that to kilometers per hour. Do our calculation. That calculates a velocity of 3,492 rounded kilometers per hour which complements our calculation. And our fourth and final example was that of a cheetah running at 31.1 meters per second, and we wanted to convert that into kilometers per hour. So we're in our right units from and our right units to. Press our calculation. That gives us a value of 111.96 rounded kilometers per hour, which again complements our answer. So these online resources are really valuable if you're working in class or at home and not under test conditions. You've been watching a Juddy Productions video if you've enjoyed and indeed learned something from this video, then please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.